physicist claims alien messages may be hidden in the stars. Everyone has at some point wondered about the possibility of life outside of Earth. It is nearly impossible not to when gazing into the empty, never-ending space above us, counting the stars. With space being so vast and seemingly endless, many wonder how or why we have not yet contacted extraterrestrial life. This phenomenon has been named the Fermi Paradox. The Fermi Paradox refers to the confusing contradiction between the complete lack of evidence for extraterrestrial life and the seemingly high probability of their existence. Some scientists believe they have the solution to explain why we have not made any contact with aliens. Terry Rudolph, a quantum physicist at the Imperial College London, suggests that aliens have been attempting to communicate with us through the stars themselves. Rudolph speculates that if aliens were to communicate vast distances, they would likely attempt to do so in more subtle ways, as to direct any communication to one planet without interference from other extraterrestrial life. As a result, a possible method of communication would be through the stars. He further explains his hypothesis by stating that aliens could potentially manipulate the photons inside individual stars to alter the light emitted from them. This fluctuation in the light of a star could be translated if we could uncover the code. Rudolph postulates, photons can propagate billions of light years and retain significant quantum coherence. This makes stars a reliable resource for communication and allows for messages to be sent across extremely long distances without disturbance. He believes that this method of communication could be appealing to an alien population if they are aware of other alien populations that pose a threat. So how can we translate these messages? As an extensively educated physicist, Rudolf feels confident in the possibility of this theory. However, he does not claim that aliens are communicating in this manner, rather that it is possible. If his theory were true, it still leaves one crucial issue. We have no way of translating messages in the stars. If aliens were utilizing this method, they would need to provide us with some form of a decoder to allow us to understand any of their messages. Until then, surely it remains a mystery. Telescopes detect the biggest explosion since the Big Bang In a recent development, astronomers have discovered the largest explosion since the Big Bang. The explosion resulting from a massive black hole occurred at the centre of the Ephucus galaxy, about 390 million light-years away. This blast is not just speculation from eager scientists. NASA was able to confirm the blast because the radio data and X-rays matched each other, and low-frequency radio telescopes found that the cavity was filled with radio plasma. While scientists have long been interested in the Ephucus galaxy due to its strange curved edge, there had been plenty of doubt about if this curve could have been caused by a black hole. Black holes can release vast amounts of material and energy as radio jets that collide with other objects in the locality. Despite the black hole theory, many astronomers actually believed that the cavity was too big to be a black hole. The team who discovered this incredible event are researchers at the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research in Western Australia. The team used four telescopes for their work, each stationed in different parts of the world, including the European Space Agency's XMM Newton X-ray Space Observatory and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory. The explosion was so large that it cut through the hot gas that surrounds black holes, called cluster plasma. According to Melanie Johnson Hollett, a professor at Curtin University and co-author of the research paper, we've seen outbursts in the centres of galaxies before, but this one is really, really massive, and we don't know why it's so big. The nature of this massive explosion has drawn comparisons to another destructive, large explosion right here on Earth, the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, which destroyed about 200 square miles of wilderness. Despite these comparisons, the crater the eruption created could fit 15 Milky Way galaxies in a row. Another interesting aspect of this explosion is just how slow it occurred. According to Johnston Hollett, the explosion looked as if it had been slowly happening over hundreds of millions of years. Excitingly, this discovery may have made it possible to find more outbursts in the future. Astronomers are now able to use low-frequency radio telescopes that may make it possible to discover more explosions 
like this one. Strange infrared light emitting from a pulsar. The cosmos is a thing of awe, horror and fascination. Space has been the subject of speculation for aeons. Among some of the most questioned space-related topics, black holes and neutron stars have to be some of the most popular discussed topics due to how little we truly know about them or how they fit in the larger scheme of the universe. Recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has discovered something unsettling and intriguing. One neutron star has been caught displaying strange swirls of glowing infrared light. When a supernova explodes, it sometimes leaves behind neutron stars. Neutron stars are an estimated 1.4 times denser than our Sun, but only 12.4 miles in diameter. Space.com claims that at such an insane density, a teaspoon would weigh a billion tons. Occasionally, neutron stars spin at high speeds and release electromagnetic radiation, such as X-rays. These neutron stars are known as pulsars. RXJ 0806.4-4124 is the name of the neutron star emitting infrared light and studying it might help develop our understanding of how neutron stars work. RX and six other X-ray pulsars near us, being 3,300 light-years away from Earth, are referred to by astronomers as the Magnificent Seven. The reason why these seven stars are so extraordinary is that they burn intensely hot, hotter than they logically should, given the available energy at their disposal and their age. They also spin around at a slower rate than most other known pulsars. Bettina Posselt, a lead author of an astrological paper in the Astrophysical Journal, states, We observed an extended area of infrared emissions around this neutron star the total size of which translates into about 200 astronomical units, approximately 18 billion miles, at the assumed distance of the pulsar. Never before has a pulsar emitted infrared light, especially with such an insanely large signal. The emission is clearly above what the neutron star itself emits. It doesn't come from the neutron star alone. And though astronomers are frantically coming up with theories and suggestions, Nothing can be proven just yet. We will have to observe and hope that we will be able to uncover the secrets of the pulsar RXJ 0806.4-4124. First ever documented tectonic activity on exoplanet. Exoplanets are extremely hard to see. Hidden by a bright light that glares from the stars they orbit, Exoplanets are basically classified as anything that orbits a larger star like Earth. In a new report submitted by the University of Bern, scientists found that the night side of an exoplanet called LHS 3844b is tectonically active. This exoplanet, which orbits the red dwarf star LHS 3844, was detected by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite. Though its surface is comparable to that of Mercury, it is larger than Earth and orbits its parent star in 11 hours. Tobias Meyer, an astronomer of the university, mentioned the huge variance of temperatures. We thought that such a large temperature difference could affect the flow of matter inside the planet. The temperatures being referenced to are degrees upwards of 800 degrees Celsius on the sun's side and below minus 25 Celsius on the night side. Similar to the activity seen in Hawaii and Iceland's volcanic areas, researchers witnessed the swelling of material on one side of the planet. They determined this swelling could cause activity across the hemisphere. While they believe that one side of this exoplanet has a great deal of volcanic activity, the other side of the mysterious planet seems to have none at all. This type of tectonic activity documentation, however, is a first. Until now, we have only seen volcanoes of this nature grow in areas on Earth. How many more tectonically active stars and planets could be in our atmosphere? We are excited to keep following along and find out. Scientists are realizing that a mysterious, fast radio burst from space looks strangely familiar. In the galaxy M81, 12 million light years away, scientists saw strange, bright flashes that are drawing up memories from flashes found in the Crab Nebula. The Crab Nebula is a famous remnant of an old supernova that humans witnessed all the way back in 1054 AD. 
Those flashes, now known as repeating fast radio bursts, or FRBs, were seen by multiple different cultures, such as Chinese astronomers who saw the star above the southern horn of Taurus, as well as Arab and Japanese astronomers. The flashes remained brightly shining for 23 days and were six times brighter than Venus, according to the astronomers at the time. It took 700 years for the star remnant to be spotted by telescope by John Bevis, a British astronomer. Famous astronomer Charles Messier even found the star 27 years later and included it in his catalogue of Messier objects. Then, another 200 years later, in the 1960s, astronomers detected a fluctuating radio source where the Crab Nebula lies and determined that the signal came from a pulsar or a neutron star with a strong magnetic field. Now, the flashes that were recently detected by scientists are being compared to those witnessed 1,000 years ago. According to Kenzie Ninmo, a PhD student in astronomy, some of the signals we measured are short and extremely powerful, in just the same way as some signals from the Crab Pulsar. Astronomers are still trying to figure out the nature of fast radio bursts because where they were found is quite peculiar. Usually, FRBs are found in galaxies abundant with young stars, but the radio dishes pointed the signal's source to a group of old stars called a globular cluster. The source of the signal challenges the idea that magnetars, the strongest magnets in the universe and a type of supernova remnant, are responsible for FRBs. This is because the explanation works well when young stars are abundant, but when there is a substantial number of old stars, as is true for galaxy M81, the explanation begins to make less sense. Some astronomers, however, believe it's possible that the magnetar was created by a white dwarf that pulled gas away from another nearby star. The added mass may have caused the dwarf star to turn into a magnetar. Whatever the explanation of the fast radio bursts in M81, astronomers believe there is definitely something strange going on. As time passes, hopefully, answers begin to come in. Asteroid impacts may spread life to other planets Extraterrestrial life is something that has undoubtedly piqued everyone's interest at some point during their lifetime. Computer simulations now seem to suggest that microbes within rocks, fired from Earth, could possibly last long enough in space for them to research other places and planets within our solar system. Meaning there is the possibility that we may be sending life to other planets unintentionally. The study has been submitted for publication in the journal Icarus and presents a new perspective on the panspermia hypothesis. The panspermia hypothesis suggests that there is life out there in the universe and that life is moved or distributed through space via meteoroids, asteroids, comets, planetoids and similar astronomical phenomena. This is purely a theoretical concept as we do not have a way to test it. However, some are suggesting that Earth is indeed playing a role in this. Scientists such as Mauricio Reyes Ruiz from the National Autonomous University of Mexico used computer modeling to demonstrate the impact of an asteroid or comet hitting Earth. The idea is that with enough velocity, there would be so much debris released upon the impact that it would be kicked up into space. The research team found that, dependent upon the velocity and whereabouts on the planet it hit, the debris could reach to the orbits of the Moon, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and possibly even further. Their computer model only considered 30,000 years, as this means that any radiation damage could be taken into consideration, though this still means there could be a large amount of matter from Earth containing live bacteria in space. Planetary scientist Dr. Simon O'Toole from the Australian Astronomical Observatory said that the advances in computing technology are truly what facilitated this discovery. He said, in the past, we didn't have the processing capacity to carry out these simulations beyond the Moon or Venus. We do not know how long this bacteria could survive in space, but this is an active field of research. Even if they do not survive long, it's baffling to consider microbes from Earth in another planet's orbit. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.